Hey everyone! In this video, you'll see how to reduce member cancellations on your MemberPress website with the Cancel Override add-on. We've all had this experience. You go to cancel that subscription service that you don't want anymore, and all of a sudden you're hit with a, hey, wait a minute fella, why don't you stick around? Here's something free on us to get you to stay. And if you're like me, you end up sticking around for a while. The MemberPress Cancel Override add-on lets you redirect customers who choose to cancel their subscription to a custom page where you can entice them to stay or collect their feedback. Depending on your offer a message, over time, your churn rate will go down, and money in your pocket will go up. So in this video, first, I'll go over some use case examples of what you can include on your cancellation override page. Next, you'll see how to install the cancel override add-on in MemberPress. And then I'll show you how to set it up. We'll see what it looks like to your members who decide to cancel. And finally, you'll see how to set up different override pages per membership to further customize the experience. So here on my sample MemberPress website, here's what the process looks like with the Cancel Override add-on. So I'm logged in as a test customer account that I have set up on my site. Daniel here is subscribed to my monthly membership, but for whatever reason, he's displeased, overwhelmed, or would just rather learn Spanish instead, and he wants to cancel. So he heads to his member account page, finds his subscription, and then goes to cancel. And then when he hits cancel, he's taken to my override page. Here, he's got an offer for a free course and some information going over all my site has to offer, just in case he got a little overwhelmed at sign up and he doesn't really know all that his membership entails. But after all this, if Daniel's still not convinced, he can always click here to proceed with the cancellation. So on your MemberPress website, you can create a similar experience with the Cancel Override add-on. And the sky's really the limit on what you can put on your Cancel Override page, but here's some ideas to get you started. First, you can offer freebies like I did here online courses, ebooks, digital downloads, or anything. Giving away free bonus content might be enough to make them have second thoughts about leaving. You can also give them more information like I did here too. So if you have a lot to offer on your site, users could just be unaware that they have access to the stuff they'd really want. So you can remind them of all your cool benefits, enticing them to stay. Maybe include a video walkthrough or just list out and link to helpful areas of your site. Another thing you could do is give discounts. So you could say something like, you sure you want to cancel? How about, and then whatever you want your discount offer to be. And setting up discounts is really easy with MemberPress's built-in coupons feature. Another thing you could put on your override page is a feedback form. You could just use a form plugin like WP Forms to ask them useful questions. Why are you canceling? What's something that you wanted that we didn't offer? Would you recommend us to a friend? And more. So this can be really helpful to collect as much useful information as you can from canceling members so you have the tools you need to bring them back and improve your site experience. Also, you can mix and match all these too. You could offer discounts and collect information at the same time. It's all up to you. So these are just a few ideas that get you started, but you're in no way limited to what I just went over. If you're coming up with any creative things you're adding to your cancellation override page, share them in the comments. Okay, now let's see how to set this up. Before you get started, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed on your WordPress site. Now, one important note before I show you how to install the add-on. The Cancel Override experience depends on you letting members cancel their own subscriptions, which can be enabled in the settings. So if I go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Account tab, here under Permissions, make sure this option, Allow Members to Cancel Their Own Subscriptions, is enabled. And be sure to click Update Options if you enable it. This will give your members the option to click cancel in their subscription tab of their member account page. Before we install the add-on, I wanna show you real quick what this process looks like before you enable cancel override. So I just enabled allow members to cancel their own subscriptions. So now I'm gonna open my site in a new incognito window. So I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. If you're not familiar with it, an incognito window lets you view your site as if you're a brand new visitor, which is useful for testing. And then I'll go to log in, and log in as a test user account I have on my site that's subscribed to a membership. And then once I'm logged in, I'll go to their account page and the subscriptions tab. And here on their subscription, they can click here and cancel. And then it prompts them with this window, are you sure? And then they can click yes or no. So now with the cancel override add-on, we're gonna take it a step further and redirect them to a page when they click cancel. So going back to my WordPress dashboard, First, you need to install the Cancel Override add-on. To do that, go to MemberPress here in the left sidebar and Add-ons, and then find Cancel Override. Then click to install and activate the add-on. Once it's activated, now you can go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Account tab. And if you scroll down, 
you'll see this option to enable cancel override. So I'll just click that. And then here, you can see that you need to enter the URL of the page that you want to redirect members to when they go to cancel. Now, just note that since you can only cancel recurring subscriptions in MemberPress, this add-on only works with recurring memberships. So just keep that in mind. Now, before I paste the URL here, I need to create the actual page to use. So I'll just click Update Options to save the fact that I enabled this. And then now I'll go to create my override page. So I'll go to Pages here in the left sidebar. And I'll click Add New. I'll give the page a name. And I want to keep things simple for this example. So I'm going to set up a page similar to the one that we saw at the start of the video that offers a free ebook. And I want to embed a tour video that gives helpful information on what my site offers. Now remember, I could offer special discounts to members in a number of different ways, but to keep things brief for the video, I won't get into discounts here. But see our support docs page on MemberPress coupons to see how to set up discount codes. So first, I have a custom image that I made that I want to use at the top here. So I'll go to insert an image. And then I'll find it here in my media library. And insert it here. And then I'll center it up. And then I'll resize it a little bit. And then next, I'll insert some heading text. So I'll insert a header. You sure you want to cancel? Get a free ebook instead. And then I'll insert a button now. And then I'll add some button text. Get your free ebook. And then I'll insert another header. Also, watch this video to see all your membership has to offer. And then I'll paste the URL for a YouTube video of my site tour. Just like that. And then I'll insert another header. Still not convinced? Sorry to see you go. And then, an important thing that you need to make sure that you do is insert a cancel override shortcode to make sure your members can continue with the cancellation if they want to. So again, if I open my dashboard up in a new tab, you can find the shortcode in a few places. One being in the settings. So if I go back to member press, settings, and the account tab, here under cancel override settings, if you click this second tooltip, you can see the shortcode that you can copy and paste on your page. Or if you go to the cancel override page on the member press support documentation, you'll find the short code that you can copy here too. Right here. So I'll go ahead and copy this first one and then head back to edit my page. And then I'll paste it here on the bottom, just like that. So my cancel override page looks good. So once I'm done editing, I'll click here to save the page. And then once it's saved, I'll find the page URL right here, and I'll copy it. Now, I'll head back to the member press settings and the account tab, and then I'll go down here to cancel override and just paste my page URL here. And then below it, you can customize the text that users will click on to cancel. But I'll go ahead and just leave it set to its default text here. But you can edit this text and make it say whatever you want. And then I'll click update options to save my changes here in the settings. Okay, so now that my page is set up and the cancel override settings are all set, let's see what this looks like for one of my customers. So I'll open my site in a new incognito window, again, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. And then I'll click log in and log in with a test user account that I have that's subscribed to a membership. And then once I'm logged in, I'll go to the account page and the subscriptions tab. And then I'll go to cancel. And then I'll click cancel. And you can see my customers redirected to my page. So they can click here to download the ebook. And they could watch the video here. And here you can see the short code has been replaced with the text in the cancel override settings. And it's linked to their cancellation process. So if my ebook and video or discount or whatever you have on the page isn't enough to entice them to stay, they can just click here to cancel. So I'll click here. And you can see the cancellation process worked. Okay, so now going back to my dashboard, 
Okay, one last thing I want to show you is how to customize this cancel override process per membership. So let's say you have two memberships, like monthly and yearly. You could create two separate cancel override pages and send users who try to cancel their monthly membership to one page and those who try to cancel their yearly membership to another. This could be useful, say, to offer different discounts for each membership and to further customize the experience that each one gets. So to do that, you just create your pages like I showed you earlier and say I wanted to start with my monthly membership. So I just copy the URL for the override page that I created for my monthly members and then go to member press, memberships, and click on my monthly membership. And then here under membership options and the advanced tab, here, you can choose to enable cancellation override for this membership. And then you'll see the same options as the global cancellation override. So you just paste your URL here and then set your message. So if you enable cancellation override here on an individual membership, it'll override your global site-wide cancellation override that you have set in your member press settings. So if a monthly member goes to cancel, they'll be taken to this URL set here on this membership instead of the site-wide one. So if you set up a per membership override, just be sure to click update here on the membership to save the changes. And if you ever turn this off and you want to use your site-wide override instead, just be sure to leave these two fields empty. And that's it. You've now seen how to use the cancel override add-on in MemberPress. Hopefully this can help you reduce some membership churn on your site and retain some customers. See our knowledge base page on the cancel override add-on for more information. And be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.